odio más que amarte Y en la distancia te puedo ver Cuando tus fotos me siento a ver Good morning, PHS. I'm Colton. And I'm Jenna. And these are your morning announcements. Attention all students interested in taking a dual enrollment course for next year. The COMPASS test will be administered on November 20th and 21st after school in the library. Students needing to take the test need to show up in the library after school. There is no pre-registration. Testing will start at 2.20. Students wishing to take a social studies, English, business, or communication test need an ACT English score of 18 or a COMPASS reading score of 80 and a writing of 70. Students wishing to take a science or math need an ACT math score of 22 or a COMPASS Algebra 1 score of 55. Students only need to take the COMPASS test if they need the score for a course that they are taking. If the student took the COMPASS test last year and passed, he or she does not need to take the test this year. If you have any questions, please see your counselor. Spanish Club t-shirt designs are due to Profesor Candle or Profesor Spurgeon by this Wednesday, today. Don't miss your chance to make your mark and win friends with your talents. We will vote on t-shirt designs at a club meeting on Tuesday the 26th. There is a Spanish club meeting on Tuesday the 26th in room 220. We will vote on t-shirt designs and then watch the movie to catch a thief. Snacks and pop will be provided. See a Spanish teacher to sign up. There will be an FEA meeting today from 2.30 to 3.30 in room 230. All are welcome. Remember to vote for the Proud Panther Award this month in the office. Voting will occur next Tuesday. If you ordered a senior class t-shirt, please pick it up in Mrs. Doubt's room, 236, either before or after school. Last weekend, our policy debate teams traveled to Chagrin Falls for competition. Congratulations to Christian Lissick and Jenna Shinsky on being crowned tournament champions in policy debate. Good luck, debaters, as you travel to Menor this weekend. This year's marching band has had a tremendous year full of accomplishments. Let's take a look. The Perry Marching Band has been hard at work this season. Between competitions and practices, it's been a great season. We interviewed the band teacher, Mr. Smith, on what he had to say about the band's accomplishments. We're very proud of the, the high school marching band for earning a superior rating this last week. It was a great way to cap off an awesome season. Um, since I've been here, this is definitely the best year we've had yet. And we're just going to look forward to keep getting better and better every year. The Perry High School Marching Band competed at many competitions this season. At the Maysville competition, they earned awards for Best Overall Auxiliary, Music, and Visual. They also earned First Place Class AA and Overall Grand Champion. The Perry Band also received a 1-Ed State, which is a superior rating. The Perry High School Marching Band consists of 190 members, including Flagline and Mage Rats. The band practiced two hours Tuesday through Thursday. Their hard work, in the end, had paid off. Congrats on a great season, Van. Keep up the good work. And that's all we have for you today, Perry. I'm Colton. And I'm Jenna. Have, have a, a great, great day. day. Cada vez que te busco te vas y cada vez que te llamo.